Creative Knowledge Environments in Choice-Based Art Education is my action research topic. My name is Lori Pickering. I have been a middle school visual art teacher for 11 years in Western North Carolina. My students are 6th, 7th, and 8th graders at Polk County Middle School. Draw a different path around the same set of circumstances and new pathways come into view. Find the right framework and extraordinary accomplishment becomes everyday experience. This quote comes from The Art of Possibility written by Rosamond and Benjamin Zander. This has been my inspiration for my action research topic. I felt that there was a need for a change in my the environment of my art classroom. I felt that if I could change the pathway to knowledge in my art room, then my students could be able to find extraordinary accomplishments in every experience. If I establish a creative knowledge environment by creating a choice-based curriculum, I would be teaching for the artistic behavior of my students. The literature says that choice-based art education is an evolving open system curriculum that fosters a holistic learning process. It strengthens higher level critical thinking skills and generates independent learning as well as collaborative interaction. The experts in the field are art teachers themselves that have experienced the authentic art making, self-discovery, and creative problem solving that are a result of teaching for artistic behavior. The transition from a teacher-directed, discipline-based curriculum to a student-directed, choice-based curriculum can be done in a continuum. Many teachers have begun to blog the journey that they and their students are taking from explicit curriculum to emergent curriculum. This chart shows the continuum of choice-based learning and teaching. In my action research, I started cycle one with full choice. I ran into some unfavorable results, so I ran cycle two with modified choice. For my contribution to the current literature, I will submit an article to School Art Magazine, and I will also contribute to Teaching for Artistic Behavior website. My action research starts with art centers. I set up art centers in each class in the classroom. Each art center has a menu that provides information on the tools, the techniques, the procedures, and cleanup for each center. Also, there is an inspiration of artist profiles for each center. For cycle one, I gave my students full choice. I introduced several art centers. I gave demonstrations to get the students um, an idea of what to do in each art center and then I gave them the choice to choose which center they wanted to work in. This photograph shows that several students in the first group chose to socialize. The collage center got a couple of students. The drawing center got a few more. But the majority of the students in cycle one wanted to make sculpted puppets. Few of the students chose based on a personal interest. Most of them chose because of what their friends chose. Craftsmanship and connection to the artwork suffered greatly. Social influence played a negative part in the creative development of their art projects. The results were that a few students did not invest in a personal way to the art that they created. The students who were following their friends had behavior issues, they were not fully engaged in the artwork, and they were uh, disruptive. The students who did choose based on a personal interest in a particular art center did very well in authentic art making. These photographs show that their engagement and personal involvement was sincere and strong. They cared about the end result of their art making and a sense of pride was a natural positive consequence of their choices. For cycle one, I needed to have a number limit on how many students worked in each center. I needed to have a sign-up sheet to keep track of the students and I needed more time to structure the activities instead of letting the students have full choice. They were really not prepared for full choice yet. So that was what I determined at the end of cycle one. 
Cycle 2, I decided to give my students a modified choice. I chose the media and let the students choose the content. I set up the criteria for them, I gave them demonstrations and showed them techniques on how to start, but I let them have the freedom to choose what they wanted to create, how they wanted to create it, and to work totally independently. These are images that show several of my students as they're working on this project. Um, I did it, have done it now for several groups and it has been highly successful. What do the students think? If you were to do this project again, what would you do differently? I'd make sure I took more time to like make it more cool and not as lumpy and I'd probably make it where the paper mache like on some parts was not sticking out and more prominent than other places. Do you feel like you had more free choices in this project than in past art classes? Yeah, definitely. I mean, and well, I, sometimes my other art teachers would tell us you have to do this this way. If you do not do it this way, it will be wrong, and they count off our grade. And so, yeah, I feel like we had more choices. Do you think free choice presents problems or success for you? I think it does a little bit both, because sometimes I don't know what I'm doing, but other times, yeah, it actually helps to where I can take out, out my imagination and lay it out right there in a physical form. And I think that's what I did with this. I thought of kangaroos at, not at first, so, and I just kind of got this, and that's, yeah. If you were to do this project again, what would you do, what would you do differently? Um, I would probably take more time to, um, to be sure that it was more of an even thing, and I might do a different feature, but I really, am a, I really like my project, so. Do you feel like you had more free choices in this project than the past art classes? A lot. This, I, we got to, I mean, we were told how, basically how to make it, but we got to design it all by ourselves, and it was really, I liked it a lot. It was, I liked having a lot of choice in making my project. My reflections on cycle two, that it was much improved over cycle one. The parameters set up boundaries that my students needed to stay engaged in the art making. This improved behavior of all students and it created a studio atmosphere in the classroom that promoted collaboration, peer coaching, and creative problem solving. The length of time for my students to complete the assignment also gave more time for them to learn to think like an artist. My conclusion is that I must teach procedures over and over again. I will have to use free choice to train my students in the art room and I will continue to establish a creative knowledge environment where all levels of choice are variable, flexible, and acceptable. My principal and curriculum director have followed my graduate work at Full Sail. They have been encouraging for my Action Research website. They have informed me that January 2011 I will be teaching the very first class on digital art in our school system. This is a tremendous opportunity and challenge but it will open and it will open another wonderful door for me and my students. Bickering. I am an art teacher for sixth, seventh and eighth grade students. I am incorporating technology into my art classroom. My students and I will begin to explore media design and art class. Starting in the second semester, I will have a technology-based art room with 14 student computers. I will introduce my 8th grade students to digital media and technology art design. My students will begin to use technology and computers as tools for their artworks. I want to animate my drawings. Will you teach me how to do that, Mrs. Pickering? My class and I will discover many new ways to use technology in art. This will help my students gain job skills and experience for the future. I want to work in the film industry and learning to use technology with art is the key. I want to become a fashion designer and learning to use technology will help my dreams come true. 
I also want to learn how to use Web 2.0 tools. This is so great! We will open new doors to 21st century learning in visual art. Me and my students are really looking forward to using technology in the art room. My deepest thanks goes to all of my full sale instructors for opening my eyes and my mind to educational media design and technology.